happening? Oh my God, man! The sauna. Oh, mm -hmm. make it stink. He wants to make it loud. What you make it stink. Make it stinky. Yeah. Well, you'd, you'd think that the sauna would be a place of sophistication and men of learning. Yes. Men go it's there a place, to And that's a place for re Yeah, apparently. It's a place for re to go in their polyester workout uniforms. That's mm. the part that goes crazy for me. Wearing, coming in in clothes. Poly yeah, wearing full, full synthetic. You, you full nude? I go in my boxes. Oh, okay, good, yeah, good. You go in your boxes. But yeah. We're wearing, the, the, you know the plastic, the thing is, when you heat plastic up, that's when it makes you a tranny. Mm-hmm. Is when you heat the plastic up. EPA or something. Plastic's bad, but it's when you heat it up and leave it in the sun. That's like a, but um. Like your water bottles that we drink. In the I, sun. I guarantee you, if you're wearing if you're wearing spandex or polyester underwear and you go into a sauna, you're becoming a. Uh, in the sauna, I, I go there for uh, watching Sports Center. Yeah. Yeah. And they go blast. they go they go in there. They're on their phones first of all, which is it's nuts because the phone. How do you bring it, a heat heat in the device in the heat. It, it's that's nuts. It's just nuts. Why would you want to I risk losing flamethrower? Crazy <laughs> idiocy. You lose your face. And then um, at the one at the Edge Fitness in Cranston, they have a fucking TV behind glass yeah. that you can't turn the volume down it's on. It's bulletproof. And it's playing Sports Center all the time. And I tried that, going in the back, and I tried act, when the janitor was like, opening the door. Yeah, I tried yeah. Going back <laughs> you get your and, foot like, in the door. I was trying to like turn off the TV. Yeah. They're like, "What are you doing?" We got to get like a universal remote or something. Oh. But you know who Stephen A. Thompson is? What Stephen is A. Stephen A. Smith. Stephen Stevenson? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Steven Stevenson. This guy. Oh. This guy. And listen, I don't, uh, I'm not going to knock him because what he does is he does, it's a specific style of uh, enter entertainment and speaking that he's extremely good at. Yeah. Which is keeping a 95 IQ white guy wanting now, more. I don't give a yep. damn if he was going tonight. Does Julius he have Randall, I'm brothers? done with him. What's he gonna say next? What's he gonna say I next mean, about the jock strap? In inmates in state penitentiaries more visible than this. for a minute. He's the president of basketball operations. You can pause. I don't want to hear that. You can pause. I don't yeah, want to hear the guy right now. He just got but he's the guy. And if deal. you if you have a guy that's like a, a Dave Portnoy type guy, yeah. he'll sit there staring at Stephen A. Thompson, and it's like the the flow of words. It's just like a it's like a uh, like an endless combination, like Killer Instinct. You know, Killer Instinct. Yeah. Ninety eight hit com ultra combo. Stephen A. Smith does that with word tracks. It's kind of like from a salesman point of view. It's kind of like how does he, how does he fucking do it? He keeps. He's been around. He's got. He's had a long career, and he does like he he's he's good. So I can't. He's a I can't even. I can't even imitate him. But yeah, he's a specialist. specialist of rhythm. I hate his yeah. gut. He's terrible. Like, but but it's uh it's like a you know someone that's good at advertising or marketing or something. It's like you gotta they, like, at least you gotta say they it, they have it's a like skill. Steve, Steve Harvey on Adderall. Yeah. With with sports like with ESPN as a sports guy you've watched i've watched espn go in the toilet over the years mm. espn had it when i was in college i remember saying to myself espn has the world by the balls right now yeah. like in 2004 yeah they had it by the balls like they they just were like sports are huge mm -hmm. and they're the fucking like they're like they were like the ufc they were the like amazon they were like, everything it was, were, uh, everything it, it was uh, you could you could have said you could have told me that in um when we first met, that the like, ESPN is going to be the biggest brand in the world. Yes, and I'm like, to it's totally reasonable. It's it, it was honestly <clears throat> Disney buys them and goes right in the trash, immediately bankrupt. Why did they Idiot. tank it? Uh, well, they I think it's just, they 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 bought it and they had uh, whatever. St they were like, us, you got to do WNBA, <laughs> WNBA. They're passing it to nobody. Oh, <laughs> they're the highlights my God! Of it. And they're like, it's good. No, no, it's good. This this fucking lesbo fucking hit 30, 27 out of thirty uh, three pointers. That's more than a guy. One thing that's more than a guy. They got Larry Bird on there against the whole team. Yeah, he's <laughs> smoking him. He's decking him. <laughs> he's fucking like elbow. He's like boxing out and just like elbowing dicks. I, get, I bet he could still perform now. Yeah, right, he the probably team. He, he could do it. He could like George Bush and and Larry Bird. George Bush, George W. Bush, and <laughs> <laughs> that's actually really funny. Like two pros and like three funny not. Like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Uh, like Will Huma Ferrell. Abedin, yeah, <laughs> yeah, like Huma Abedin, like Ant wow. Anthony Weiner. <laughs> Please, wow. Which brings me, yeah, Anthony Weiner, uh, like Larry Bird, old retired, and like mm. Charles Barkley, fat in a three-piece suit, mm -hmm. could beat any NWA. <laughs> uh, like, They'd be doing like straight up like middle school shit, like holding the heads back <laughs> and like holding the ball up. You can't reach it. Spinning I the stand ball. up to bullies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I stand up to bullies. Uh, Oh yeah, which we should talk. Please tell me you guys have seen the Anthony Weiner interview with that guy. I saw. A I only heard of it. I saw three seconds of it. I knew it was going to be. Is it him for going heavy. off the going off the handle after being asked something? Heavy. I'll, I'll say this: it might be the most important piece 
of him <laughs> doing in the last 12 years, 15 years. Why? Why? Who told him to make a public appearance? Who told him to make a public appearance? Oh. Who let this guy? <laughs> who let the dogs out? No, no, but what? I figured it out. What's I, it going to do, though? Oh, I figured it out. It's a Charles thing. It, yeah, it doesn't matter. It's controlled demolition. Everything. I watched like I watched as much of it as I possibly could without like subscribing to the guy. So uh -huh. I watched like 25 you minutes. You were very. Uh, I like uh, this guy. Who, this guy? Yeah, I like this guy. Who's this guy? I don't know. Uh, Paul, Paul David, Char Paul Baby Day. I like his mic. You, you should hear this. Paul Barry oh. David. Yeah, Paul Barry. I, like, That's Larry David? Paul? He's That's Larry David's the, brother. RuPaul David? You gotta watch this. This RuPaul Larry that David's brother. On the it's, way you defended Hillary Clinton, on who she was when it comes down to politics. Are you still close to that family? Are I'm you, not. Okay. So who do you think between the two was a better politician? You think Bill's the better politician? Do you think Hillary's the better politician? I don't politician? think Hillary was a particularly good politician. Okay, so she's a better strategist, you would say. She's more uh, strategic, she's, she's power. A, she, is, she is a classic blooming where she's potted kind of public official. Yeah. Everything that she has been given to do. I watched her, you know, as a as a rookie elected official coming to New York. He's a rookie. An amazing senator. I watched her. Rookie as, junior as, as Harvey Milk. Be, like, oh, that's the e his ego. He can't help but come back. It's a it's a, a Jew thing. Uh, it is. I think that he, I think he's a part of a psyop thing. I think this is what they do: put him back out there and normalize him. He talks about a sex addiction in where they try to normalize it. Mm -hmm. They normalize it because in, in the past there'd be uh, there'd be a response that would be rather extreme. But this is this is like a mockery. It shows that you can talk about anything. People can know about anything. Everyone's laughing about it. There's no there's no uh, response. Uh, there's no justice. So you know, I mean, it's not. I'm not sitting here calling by the for end justice, of, but by the end of it, as I don't like Anthony Weiner, obviously, right? Obviously, I hate. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like he's obviously a he has certain pedophile. proclivities. And that, that now instantly by the end of it, I'm like this. Fuck this guy just literally talked his way through straight up. Like, yes, what I ha I'm in counseling, and you're like this as like a consumer of it. Something uh -huh. that if you had in possession, you're getting years. Uh, anybody, any anybody here would be in fucking state. Whatever, years, whatever, whatever. years. You wouldn't even hear from him. He's like this. But like he's normalizing it and humanizing. You're it. saying to the average consumer, they're, they're, they're watching they're, this and it's it sells. This guy, this guy's not. This guy just literally put his head back above water. The, Damn. The, the, he, the, he shows everyone that you can you can get away with it, and then you can go on tour and be a celebrity. But uh, go ahead, Chris. No, I was just saying that uh, I I saw a clip. I think it was it was on TikTok or something. But the way he was describing the allegations, and he's in. Every like multiple people are like, so you're changed now. And he's like, well, <laughs> change. We are all changed. He was like, no, no, no. It was we're crazy. not. We're always an addict. We're I'll always, always be. Uh, I'm addict. always recovering was, from said proclivities. He was, he was that comparing like jail for. he was comparing like pedophilia to like alcoholism. Mm, yeah, I gotta find what an app comparison. It's it's, in, it's, in, it's insane. <laughs> I love that. It was well. You see, it's it's right off the bat. I mean, you can argue about philia this, philia that, but there's no such thing um, as that. I refuse to even talk about it. There's only abuse and there's not abuse. You know what I mean? There's no such thing as a proclivity that goes that that goes into that realm. That realm is a, a realm of strictly abuse. So there's no there's no like uh, it's the not tendency. Like a it's a crime. It's a crime. It's not a disease. It's like uh, I mean, it is a disease. Okay. It, it's put into you, but we don't so have to talk about when that. When are we gonna see what's on the laptop? Is that ever coming out? Which is never. He's like this. You, you can name me things in the ba from some kid in his basement. I stand up to bullies. Damn. I'll tell you what. A lot of, uh, you know, I'll tell you what else. The, I think a lot of people's KK, uh, clan hood sewing machines turned on in their heads when they heard that. <laughs> yeah. They were like, this, what did that guy just say? And how did he say it? I've never really heard that, but I think I know what I'm supposed to think. And it sounds like 50 sewing machines turning on. <laughs> That's how long it takes to sew a clan hood. <laughs> no, none of that stuff comes out, and, and you're better off not knowing anything about that sort of thing. And even if it did come out... That's, I think it's enough Anthony Wiener, Chris. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. You can yeah. keep talking about it, but just stop looking it up. Yeah, sure. I, I don't... This guy's fucking I, face. I bypass the stuff because I see... I see... Uh, well, I'm not Mr. Smoke and Mirrors, but... I can see these things play out. I can see theater. I can see parade. I can see uh, mocking. I can see ritual. Look, I'm not an expert, but I just know. I know green screens and WWF when I see it. And it's if it wasn't K for a purpose, it wouldn't be. It wouldn't be live. Mm. Yeah, right. And that's like, who let this guy out of the box? Yeah, yeah. Like if people are shooting themselves and so on and so on, like what? Like we believe. Like mm -hmm. right. Like we. Okay, fine. You got frazzle drip on there. You mm -hmm. got Hillary Clinton, Hume Aberdeen slicing a fucking three year old's face off, putting it on their face, saying Latin words. Doing fucking sick fucking Ashkenazi. It's damaging knowledge. Right, right. Like damaging that, knowledge. Okay, no problem. The same power that has whatever power they're speaking to, they're like, send them back out. Mm -hmm. Put them on a radio show. Yeah, sure. 
Now, now I'm, I'm like, <clears> just, oh, okay. All right. It's a joke. It, yeah, it's controlled demolition, and we can only just wait for, wait, I mean, look, we don't have to keep into this, but what do you wait for? The, the real installed official social credit, a food shortage, a, 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 no electricity, no gas, whatever. You wait, you, what do you do? Wait for one of those while this is on. That's yeah. all. And, I know, and that's, I'm not doom speaking, trying not to, because you think about these things and it makes them happen. That's why there's always fear of this. Well, it's but always I mean, mi- micro. These things don't matter. Even in the doom scenarios that like will eventually play out. Because mm-hmm. I, I, you know, when you guys are great forecasters and, and uh, you, you, you can see five, seven years details, which is like good enough. Mm-hmm. And my thing is like, it's never 100%, it's always like 30%. Mm-hmm. Like even like yeah like food shortages totally gonna happen gas all no that meat. can happen you can't buy meat. I'd be eating a lobster <laughs> I'm never not eating a lobster and I mean that and I don't care what that sounds like you know what I'm you doing that day I'm going Maine. clamming I'm gonna go eat little necks the second I hear what is like, oh Californians can't drive anywhere and they're stuck in their homes and people are dying cool I'm going to the Matunic Oyster Bar and getting a seafood <laughs> tower that sounds great because I live in Rhode Island and people would do like I nope. <laughs> I just that's how I feel. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's no. never in a hundred percent. Trust me, I understand because if you if you worry about it, it'll it'll like it'll ruin you. it collectively makes it happen. You can't worry about it and you can't obsessively prepare uh, uh because I mean there's only there's certain things you can do. But uh and, and there's also that that prophecy that's like shaken in front of your head to to scare you, like people that see the future, they know it, and you really battle not to, you know, not it's to turn into one of the sign guys, like the end is nigh or whatever. Mm. It's a, but it is a joke. When they do that, this so is it's the fun. end. I just remember. I just remember something. Remind me. Remind me. Sign guys when this when this conversation's petered out. I don't. I think. I think. Um. I think it's. I think they're just gonna keep it the way it's been going. I think. I think <laughs> it's. I think it's like a. It's one of those. Cur- what are the, What's it called when there's two curves, and they got to find the optimal point, like f- fuel to air ratio versus whatever. Like it's just like the point where it's like the fine Perfect. the fine tuning point. It's like it is pretty good right now. Fear versus tax revenue. The, like how the much tangent line? Mm-hmm. How much money can we extract from these people? Yeah, before they wake up. Yeah, it's like what? Move, how, how do we keep know? them at the at the peak simmer of like paying tax revenue and like centralized government power, et cetera, et cetera? Et cetera you know, what and I mean? allowing hmm. like uh, politicians to be like skull fucking infants on yachts without them finding out, but with them and have enough money to skull fuck infants on yachts. Yeah. Yeah, it's just one of those things.